Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in my video this week I'm going to show how to control participants inside of an assembly level feature in Autodesk Inventor. Here I'm starting out with a door for a pie safe, a type of cabinetry, and I've used an assembly level feature to cut out a pocket for a hinge. However, the hinge has also been cut by the assembly level feature because it cuts everything it encounters. So, how's one way I can control that? It's actually really simple. I can move my mouse over to the assembly level feature in the browser, and if I expand it, I can see the components that are participating inside of that feature. 2013-22-27 is the rail that is part of the door, and then the two generic hinge instances are the two hinge leaves. All I have to do to change the participation is select the component I want, right click and choose remove participant for each component. That's all it takes, that's it and it's fixed. And that can add a great deal of control when you're using assembly features and make sure you're using the tool to its fullest potential. And as another note, if I want to add a participant, if I need to make sure the assembly level feature does cut into something, it's pretty easy too. I just right click on the feature, choose add participant, and I can add another component to the assembly level feature so it would also get cut too. That's it. Something simple, but a little knowledge can be really powerful. That's it for this video, and thanks for taking the time to watch.